Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. And as you know, ISRO vacancies have been released for, mechaniz uh, for mechanical engineering in a very big number. 163 are the number of posts. And if we see that number, obviously uh, it is a matter of proud to work with such an organization. So it is a dream job for many of the students. So those who are preparing for the written examination of ISRO, they must be looking for the list of those important topics from which questions are coming again and again. So guys, by looking at the PYQs from 2005 onwards, I have made a list of very important topics. When I say important topics, it doesn't mean that you need to do only this and paper will be from that. It is not a university exam. So those are the topic where you need to give more emphasis because more questions are coming from those particular topics. So guys, we are starting the session. This is going to be very important for those who are preparing for ISRO examination. So guys, those who are watching me for the first time, this is some detail about me. My name is Dheera Sardana and I'm having around 10 plus years of experience in this field. And these are my areas of expertise. So guys, moving further, if you are or any of you are known one is preparing for gate 24 and you want to secure AIR under 100, then guys, there is a workshop on 6th of June, will be taken by me at 7.30 p.m. on Baiju's exam prep app. This is a free workshop, you can register for it, okay? So moving further guys. Now my dear, before we go into the topics, I have made a list, sequence of subject weightage wise. If you see all the previous year's paper, in general, there is a trend that the highest number of questions are being asked from material science. This is really shocking because generally, if we are talking about gate examination, material science weightage is the least one. It hardly comes for one to two marks, but it is here following ISRO. ISRO asked a lot of questions from material science. Similarly, engineering services also asked the highest number of questions from material science. If you count the number of questions on material science, they are even more than the production question. Then the second weightage is given to the strength of material, yes. Then we will have production at third number. Fourth number is for thermal size. In this, all the application, RAC, power plant engineering, ICE are covered. Then fluid machinery and fluid mechanics. And guys, after that, mathematics, then we are going to have engineering mechanics, machine design, theory of machines, industrial. And here, I would also like to tell you with fluid mechanics and machinery, I have covered heat and mass transfer as well. So guys, now we will go for the topics. So we have seen the list related to the subjects. So we have seen the first one material size, saw production. And here with fluid mechanics, HMT is also included. Then we have seen the second uh, slide that is maths, mechanics, machine design and top. So if you see the weightage of these three topics are nearly same, nearly same. And industrial is the least weightage subject. You will hardly find one to two question of industrial in, all, in every paper. Okay. So that is why this is the least weightage subject. Why I have kept here same because sometimes you will find more question from machine design, sometimes from from tome and vibration, sometime from engineering mechanics. So they are nearly of same weightage. Moving further guys. Now from material size, what are the areas where more than 80% questions are being asked? So guys, you will see every year one question is asked from the characteristics of unit cell. They are asking about the average number of atoms. Okay. Sometimes they will ask average number of atom in iron at room temperature. Sometimes they will be asking that uh, uh, nickel, titanium, iron, they are following which crystal structure and what are the average number of atoms. So those characteristics, average number of atom, coordination number, all those things from for simple cubic BCC, FCC you need to do. The second area where questions are being asked are heat treatment processes and properties. Heat treatment processes, you know, annealing, you know, cyaniding, you know, carburizing, you know, nitriding, you know, quenching. So they are asking question related to those processes or the byproduct of their or the effect of the effect on properties of these processes. Like one question is toughness will be increased by which of the process. Hardness will not be increased by which of the process. So this is the second type of question. Third type of question is from steels and cast iron. This is something you need to mug up, okay? Because uh, when we see about the steel and cast iron, 
you know there are various types they have different properties like white cast iron is the hardest why okay they will not ask why in written why will be asked in the interview but they will ask what is the hardest one so it is white cast iron so likewise the questions are framed then the question will be coming on effect on alloying element like when we add boron which property it will increase hardenability so that kind of question have been seen then crystal structure of basic elements like i have seen many papers they are asking the crystal structure of cementite sometime martensite sometime iron so like that they are asking so guys these are the types of question they are framing from the topic subject of material size then we are talking about the strength of material yes strength of material is the second highest weighted subject as per the observation there what are the hot topics the major question you will found from stress strain diagram and properties like resilience toughness strain energy okay then they will be asking numerical on torsion every paper have one numerical on torsion either from shaft in series or they would be asking you to find out the theta okay or or they will be saying that the ratio of theta in two shafts or solid and hollow shaft comparison that kind of questions have been seen then my dear from column they are asking about the hollow circular column and some questions have been seen related to the core and the boundary condition like both hand fix both hand free buckling load is directly proportional to which thing okay so that kind of questions have been there then you will see next in bars in series and parallel bars in series and parallel is very common topic for gate as well but here level of question is less because calculator is not allowed then next you will find the basic cases of support reactions sfd bmd and slope and deflection so like you will see the uh, like basic cases when i say there would be question like this this is a simply supported beam you are having udl in half of the length they will ask you the back, maximum bending or they will ask you bending moment at point c or they will ask you the support reaction ra and rb so that kind of question you will see in this support reaction calculation sfd bmd slope and deflection like in slope and deflection there are some pet question of the gate they will ask you what is the deflection of this point a so there are some pet question like pyqs or very simple cases they are not asking much hard thing which are too much or extremely calculative because previously it was a 1.5 hours exam for 80 question now it is 2 hours exam for 100 question so 120 minutes will be allotted and questions are not even 100 questions are 95 so obviously the level of question cannot be too hard calc is also not there so that is why you can expect simple cases okay like they may give you a udl uvl that kind of no loading where direct results are remembered okay moving further even very tricky question have not been seen and very less question from this part less question from this part they have majorly asked the question from the utm you see one question you will find utm okay utm means universal testing machine so from tension test you will find the question then when we are talking about the production part i have seen generally one question they are asking about the heat supplied numerical like you know there are three types of heat heat generated heat supplied heat input or heat required and then efficiency melting efficiency overall efficiency heat transfer efficiency so we have seen questions are asked from this questions are less from vi characteristics but more from this and when we are talking about the casting here very basic questions are being framed like one question was from the riser who is going to solidify first here they have not asked much uh, like as in the gate they are asked very lengthy numerical they will give you two three geometry and they will say to compare them these type of questions are not there they are very simple conceptual based and also conceptual when i say non conventional casting there they are asking that uh, like like in continuous casting what is the shape of die sorry what is the material of die so that kind of questions they are framing they are very easy conceptual theory based they are not numerical much when we are talking about metal forming if you know in metal forming we derive two types of formulas one with the ideal conditions when friction is considered to be zero and we consider the yield stress is equals to yield strength so there are second formulas where we are using the friction along with that so guys all the questions what are asked in isro they are only with basic formulas with ideal condition 
like in the rolling you know whenever we consider ideal condition then you know that uh, we are writing uh, the mean flow stress stress into area b into l that will become okay so whenever you are going to find out the work done stress into area that is going to be force and like power is asked in the rolling process so when they ask power 2 into t into omega so t will be you know that f into a so this is the formula for f so that kind of questions are being framed they are not majorly asking on the uh, derivations related to the presence of friction okay so they are very easy question you know that they are the uh, you can say easy level of gate one mark gate questions type then you are having from metal cutting questions are from economics they are from tool life majority papers are having one question from tailor to life then tool signature they would be giving a signature asking what is relief angle what is cutting edge angle like that and all the theories like lee shepherd theory stabler relation like merchant's theory Hans merchant's theory and then comparison of mrr in various non traditional machining processes like uh, mrr is lowest in which of the process usm is going to give you the mrr high low that kind of questions are there they are less numerical more theoretical from mrr then metrology and inspection we have seen from inspection devices they are very important and sometimes they are asking about the fit what type of fit it is uh, like you know there are uh, you uh, clearance clearance fit transition fit interference fit that kind of thing then my dear from thermal sizes in ic engine you will find the question from cetane number octane number all the conceptual terms okay like you will find out uh, the some of the questions they are not much numerical they are asking conceptually okay so like uh, fi uh, firing order have not been asked but that is also becoming important for the upcoming years then my dear we are talking about rac many questions are from psychometric processes like they will say in this process in this process what will increase what will decrease okay like you know humidification dehumidification heating cooling they will say any of the process they will ask which of the property is going to increase or decrease then in power plant they are asking Rankine and Brayton cycle reheating and regeneration but not numerical the effect of theirs like with reheating what is going to happen with regeneration what is going to happen what will increase what will decrease and from basic thermodynamics you will find the question from entropy conceptual question generally then uh, second law of thermodynamics is having some question related to heat engine and heat pump yes and pure substances these kind of things can be asked in the form of uh, diagram PVPT diagrams like uh, one question I have seen uh, whenever we are talking about the pressure temperature diagram uh, pressure temperature and temperature volume diagram then they are asking about that water will be showing more specific volume in which condition 4 degree Celsius 0 degree Celsius so all those types of questions very basic they are not asking at advanced level like gate is asking the level of paper have been seen quite lower if we are comparing with the gate because obviously in gate three minutes for every question we are getting here we are getting what 120 minutes for 95 questions or almost 1.25 minutes for every question even less than that so obviously level will be accordingly so even in gate Kelsey is there here Kelsey is also not there then for uh, if you see the question level or type is majorly of ESC types but not that easy questions like zero law of thermodynamics will give you which property that level of question is not there you can say medium level of esc questions are coming in the isro yes then fluid mechanics and machinery you will find numericals on bernoulli equation fluid properties like they will be asking you about uh, surface tension capillary and also they will be asking about the vis uh, like viscous uh, density you study uh, like you study viscosity so they are also asking you those kind of things and their variation with temperature and all then turbines compressors are asked in heat transfer you will find many questions on critical radius spins and lump parameter analysis then you will see the question the straight away formulas of lmtd ntu for stream generator and condenser and radiation networks radiation shield also and all dimensionless number in the convection like you will say 
or Renault number, Nassel number, their relations are also been asked. Okay, there are some other numbers related to mass transfer that also you need to go with, like Sherwood number. Uh, one paper have asked. So these kind of things are coming, huh? Then we are talking about tom vibration and machine design. For machine design, fatigue loading is necessarily having one question. Fatigue loading is having either the question like for non-ferrous materials, what is the fatigue strength limit? Or they will be asking you something related to note sensitivity factor or the uh, value of note sensitivity factor, okay? And then when we are talking about theory of failure, either they will ask you the direct formula putting values like find out the von Mises stress or they will give you graph in list 1, in list 2 they will give you the uh, name of the theory you need to match the following. And guys, when we are talking about this, formula and graph are important for theory of failure. For reverted joint, only case 1 is asked. Case 1 means this one, which is also important for gate as well. Okay, like they will apply the force here. They will ask you the critically loaded rivet or the load or the stress in the critically loaded rivet. Then my dear, load life relationship of bearing is asked many times. Then my dear, all formulas in tom. Why I have written all formulas in tom? Like flywheel, they are asking you the ratio of height of what governor to the porter governor, porter to the what governor, like that. So all the formulas you need to remember. But in theory of machines, questions coming are very less. And when we are talking about in the gear train, they are asking about the application. Like for reverted gear train, the whenever uh, driver and driven shaft are becoming coaxial, which gear train we are going to use. That question is repeated many times. Okay. So, uh, like that's why application of gear train is very important. For when we are talking about gyroscope, formula is important. They have never asked the direction. They asked only find out the gyroscopic couple. Okay. Or couple is given, they are asking you find out the velocity of precision. Yes. So, those kind of questions have been seen in the theory of machines. Then when we are talking about vibration, major questions are seen from the natural vibration. And there also relay method is completely used where they are asking that there is a cantilever beam at the free end. We are going to have uh, a person sitting with mass this, find out the natural frequency. That kind of questions are there. Relay method will be used. They are asking the same gate question that if a spring mass system have natural frequency omega and on earth, what will be natural frequency on the moon when g of moon is 1 by 6 of g of earth. So these kind of questions are framed which are also been asked in gate. Then my dear relay method, torque method are important. Then engineering mechanics, industrial engineering and math. So for engineering mechanics, question are coming from friction where you are going to have this type of problems, okay, uh, inclined plane problems. Then trusses, they are asking very easy questions, not very difficult. From equilibrium, also they are asking very easy questions. In trusses, the question will be one or two step. Like you need to tell the magnitude of the force which will be coming by taking one joint or you need to tell zero force member, that kind of questions you can see. Then my dear, in industrial engineering, totally formula based questions have been seen from sequencing, major, sequencing majorly, okay. And also uh, queuing theory. Queuing theory also questions are there, okay. So that also you need to remember. But as I said, everything is not numerical in this row. Then my dear, for mathematics, you will find question from differential and integral calculus compulsorily, question from Laplace. From matrix, uh, they are asking, you can say in a gap of a year, okay, alternatively. So this is about the mechanical engineering important topics. So guys, if you want, we will be coming up soon with the aptitude sessions also because previously aptitude was not the part of ISRO. Now it is there. So we will be coming up that session as well. So guys, this is my telegram channel, Mechanical by Dheera Sardana. You can join it. You will get handwritten notes there. You will get all the information, PDFs, previous year's paper, okay, and many more. So we will help you, guide you during the interviews as well. So be there with us and you are going to get a lot of benefits. So goodbye guys for this particular session. We will meet soon for the other session related to ISRO and other examination. Goodbye.